research. I think they're doing some RRL. So I think that's hopefully shorter term. It's just better. It's certainly the fighting shorter term. I'm going to get past you the yacht stage, which is a thing along the Pacific. That says 12th Street. That's the other one. It's not up here. This one here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hello, how are you? Just terrible. You know? Is this bad? So essentially because we're keeping one lane open, um, and then you have the 13 ramps, all the ramps get stacked. So let alone essentially the three bridges to the south, this whole bridge, brand new line bridge, all get rehab. Um, fully done, power pit, and all that. Um, and then also the pavement between the end of the viaduct and the brand new one, all of that pavement is full depth concrete reconstruction. So that all gets done. So if you go with the fear traveling down, they're not adding um, that. Like let's say you're going down like 4th Street or one of these other streets. All this stuff going on up above you, how's that going to impact the traffic down? No, 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 nothing, none of the side streets. The only thing that gets closed is essentially all the ramps at some point get closed. And the detour is mainly used to access. Yeah, no, this year is not, that's not the intent of that. The big difference there is that was full bridge replacement. This is a new surface deck, so you're not going to be moving all the concrete. It gets a little tight. Definitely different. area today? Clearance for the for those trucks. So that is, yeah, that is something that they're trying to do. I mean, this is like serious damage into the girders. Yeah, that I've yeah. Seen. No, I've seen. They've, there's been some strikes that have been yeah. pretty so, bad. So that that is being taken care of. Um, but yeah, generally it's a so this capital is not, nothing's, nothing's going to be relieved. Oh, excuse me. Oh no, you're fine. Sorry. Nothing's going to be relieved as far as traffic headings. As far as adding lanes, no. Um, I figured you guys would do some kind of overhaul like they did over there on 295. They did a really good job over there. Um, the Delta, you know, Delta has, I assume that would be a much more significant cost to I mean, widen a mile on bridges, but you have to almost rebuild it completely at that point. Right, yeah, of course. Um, and I guess just the scope of this point is to... Oh, well, I think the 295 is there for four One to the south so side, separated with the barrier, and still provide two lanes in each direction on the current six lane cycle. Is that in this, or is that just that? Uh, they have some kind of headache like this, they won't even come. Yeah. 
ready for this. Help you as much, but a lot of those people who are from go to 95 and up and or the drive through um, you know, train station area to get out of the city will now have a bridge connecting stands out here in the stadium area to uh, 13. I think they're making a bridge. They're, they're doing, yeah, they're building a whole new bridge. It's mostly, it's mostly built, yeah, right now. I know, right? No, I mean the, the the way it the way it's set up now is really bad. Yeah. This coming in this way. Yeah. But I have a job, they're dorm. So, <laughs> so where's the proposed bridge? Where's the dollar? Is that the big I said,
Southbound from 2nd Street is being constructed. The merge lane will be extended, which requires widening the route to Viaduct. This work will last approximately 12 months. The new ramp will be completed prior to the major I-95 market and will enable the ramp to remain open continuously during the I-95 work. It's important to emphasize that this is major road work with major traffic implications. Delays are expected. You will need to plan accordingly. If these repairs are not made in the near future, Del Dot will have to completely reconstruct this section of I-95. The subsequent traffic impacts will be much more significant. The cost will increase dramatically. Del Dot has devised a detailed plan that updates and improves the existing structure and extends the life of the roadway for at least 30 years. The work will include removing the current surface using hydro demolition and replacing it with a specialized protector. It will include replacing the roadway barriers with parapet.
parts of Wilmington. However, it is strongly advised to use alternate routes. Stage 2 will last approximately 10 months. Stage 3 will start in the spring of 2022. Northbound side will reopen, with two-way traffic operating on the northbound side. Local traffic will have one lane on the southbound side, while the other southbound lane will be closed for repairs. Halfway through Stage 3, the local lane and closed lane will flip. Stage 3 will take approximately one meter. An additional lane will be added to Lancaster Avenue and 2nd Street, allowing an additional left turn lane. North Adams will be restriped in order to provide two left turn lanes. The additional lanes and restriping will be completed prior to the major I-95 work and provide congestion during the I-95 road. Road improvements are on the horizon for I-95 and Bullington. Expect delays. Plan ahead. Delta, striving for excellence in transportation. Every trip, every mode, every dollar, for everyone.